Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Okay, you're ready for flight. You have the rocket motor installed. Um, now it's time to put everything together. Um, I just have some paper towels just to hold the parachute in there. Um, so we need to protect these parachutes. Um, and so you have a lot of different options. Um, you have the classic Estes wadding, um, the Aerotech Quest tissue paper wadding. There's dog barf, which is a household cellulose insulation. It's blown into your attic. Um, it's flame proof. Um, it makes really good wadding. Um, or you can use a Nomax sheet like this one right here. Um, if you're using um, the Estes type wadding or the Aerotech, you want to get um, at least like five or six sheets. Uh, put one of them inside of the motor tube um, and then the rest underneath so you can protect these parachutes as well as you can. Um, if you're using the Nomex, um, what I would do is attach a, a Kevlar shock cord to it and you can attach it to the same harness on the inside here. Just tie it into a, a knot. And I'll just do a little double knot here real quick. Doesn't matter, just use your favorite knot. Um, and then take this and make like a burrito and stick it in and it's really gonna protect it really well. Um, and as I said before, I like to put in this one first um, so that everything comes out. But with, when you're using these Nomax waddings, everything's coming out anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so put that in there. And then stick this one on top. Um, just be careful that the cords... Um, so I'm taking the shock cord here and I'm kind of pushing it to the side so it's off to one side so that it stays away from this shock cord because I don't want them getting tangled like you saw in the video. There's a lot of room in there so you don't have to worry about it. And then stick it on top. And now you're ready to launch. So in the next video we're going to finish it up and have a launch, I hope. Um, and so you'll see the Saturn 1B fly. And my name again is Tim Van Milligan and thank you for watching all these construction videos. I know it's a lot. There's probably over 60 of them. I haven't been keeping track yet, but uh, there's a lot of them. So thanks for watching.